I'll bisect a line joining A1, A2. So I'll do that by joining short dashes. And then B1, B2 by joining short dashes. Next, I'll bisect A1, A2 more than half, more than half. Then B1, B2 more than half, more than half. Now, after I'm done, I'll choose any point on this line and label that as O2, which where O2 will be the ground point for point A to rotate about, and another point for B, which will be the ground point for B to rotate about. So, let me turn my sheets like this. So, I'm choosing this point to be O2, and I choose this point to be O4 any point at all of your choice just happened that mine came here by chance on this line you can't even put it here all right so any point on this line any point on this line so choosing this for a i'll join a1 to this and then at position two it will be here and then b204 at position two we have it here so as we are done this is a coupler output four bar mechanism we are to attach a diode to limit the positions so before we attach the diode we need to know the angles we need to measure this angle and this angle and then attach the diode to the last one so use your protractor center here so you have 91 for B and you measure for A so you extend this or this any of them you just extend one so you are looking at link O2 A1 if you move to O2 A2 what will be the angle here was B1 O4 moving from position 1 to B o, uh, B2 O4 so put your protractor here Time measure from here, so we have 105 here. Okay, so we have 105 degrees here. So, since this is bigger, I will choose this to attach the diode. So, along this length, along O4B, which is either O4B to O4B1, I'll choose a point to attach the diode. I want to choose this point to attach the diode. Then I'll, I'll use the compass to locate it at position 2. So, if position 1 is E1, position 2 will be E2. The next, I'll join E1 to E2 with short dashes. And extend the line with the bisector and E2 or bisector and E1, the length, I measure half of the length here. Then at any point, at the, where I ended with the coupler, I'll draw this circle. We are done, All right? So the next thing, we will extend this line to touch the other end of the circle. So if here is E2, here will be F2. If here is C1, here will be F1. The ground is O4. This is O2. So let's label this one O6. Now the question asks us to check for Grashof and determine the transmission angles as position 1 and 2. So to check for Grashof, pay attention. 
it is just the driving mechanism so it is the crank coupler and the part, the point the distance between the point the coupler attaches the output link and the ground so the crank which is O6F the coupler which is FE and then this link which is E04 and then the ground point which is O4 O6 it is these four links that makes that we use to check for the grass shop so for O6F which is the crank length we have 1.3 the coupler length which is EF so either F1 E1 or F2 E2 so F1 E1 I have 10.5 then E04 so from here to here either E1 O4 or E2 O4 that also I have 1.7 1.7 and then the ground between 04 06 that is 10.5 okay so since between this and this the lengths are the same what I can do is that I will change I will extend the coupler I will make it a bit shorter So, I'll let the coupler end here and I'll, I will get half of the length here, stand at that point and make a circle. So, F1, F2. So that would change some of these values. So let's check. O6F. O6F is still 1.3. Then EF. E1, F1, E1. Okay, so we have 9 here now. So the coupler is now 9. And then O E O F for this we didn't change anything, so it was still 1.7. And the grounds I have 9.1 now for the ground. Nine point one. So between these four values, the gas of condition stage, the shortest plot, the longest should be less, so you call to some of the other two sides. And I should pay attention to this. The, this, the length, the coupler length is dependent on you. You make that decision. So you may, you might choose a point where it will not make the gas of condition satisfied. So you can just claim and do it again. Doesn't mean you are wrong. So here, the, the shortest is 1.3. And the longest is 9.1 and we are saying that should be less than 1.7 plus 9.1 so here this one gives us 10.4 which is less than or equal to 10.8 so this the gas of condition is satisfied the next is to check for the transmission angles so over here the transmission angle at position one will be O F O four E one E two. So transmission angle at position one will be so theta at position O four E one. This is E two. Is equal to so. From here zero forty four degrees. Then our position two our position two will be angle 
angle say f1 e2 b2 and that we have 44 as well 44 degrees as well okay so now transmission angles are found and gas of condition to is checked the next is to build the cardboard model 